How to get more views on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what I did to go from zero to over 9,000 views a day. My name is Greg Kononenko. You might also know me as the caffeinated blogger. And on this YouTube channel, I talk about traffic generation, affiliate marketing, and various tips about making money online. Subscribe to my YouTube channel just below this video and hit the bell notification icon to make sure that you get notified in real time as soon as I upload my next video. All right, let's get into the detail. What's happening, guys? So recently, I've just had my best month on YouTube and I've had a lot of views and I wanted to make a video because quite a lot of people have reached out to me and said, what are you actually doing? And I'm going to give you 13 tips uh, that I could think of that I've sort of started implementing and I'm hoping that this is going to help you. So in the last 28 days, you can see my stats here. I've actually gone through a fairly quiet period over Christmas and New Year and then my views started ramping up and I started getting 5,000 and then I even had my best day ever where I had 9,601 views. So since then I've sort of been fluctuating between 5,000 and 10,000 views. Now the funny thing is that I haven't even made that many videos. As you can see in the last 28 days, I've actually only made nine videos from the 1st of February till today. So that's an average of just two videos per week, which is super manageable for me. Because YouTube is not actually even my full-time focus, I've got other businesses that I'm working on as well. So what did I actually do? In this video, I'm going to show you. So let's jump back into the presentation and talk about it step by step. So number one, I started using PowerPoint. I'm actually a camera shy person, so I have to psych myself up for every single video. And if you just put me in front of the camera and ask me to talk, I kind of get lost. I need some prompts. You know, I'm not a natural speaker. I'm not very fluid in front of people. I've never been uh, big into public speaking or anything like that. So I'm actually camera shy. If uh, you are like that as well, then this tip might help you because uh, having a PowerPoint like what you can see here on the screen actually helps me know what I need to say. So I put two or three bullet points and then I pretty much just go through those bullet points. I try to be animated and I try to move my hands and try to be high energy on camera. But having this PowerPoint actually really, really simplifies the video creation process for me. And I've had feedback from my viewers that this helps them understand the content better as well, because I do have a lot of viewers in non-English speaking countries and that helps them as well. Uh, I also looked at my analytic stats and I found that it actually increased my engagement and view time. So the most recent eight or nine videos that I've done this way actually have a higher uh, percentage view time and higher engagement in general, which I think is helping me get more views. So that's my tip number one. Let's talk about tip number two. Tip number two is improved thumbnails. So I've lifted my game a little bit. I've tried a few different options for thumbnails. And uh, what I've got now is I think it makes them really stand out. I believe that it improved my views. It increased my CTR. That's definite because I, I looked at it in the analytics area. And I do it all in, in Photoshop, so I don't outsource or anything like that. I'm going to show you the thumbnails that I use these days. So the most recent format of thumbnails that I've been using is this one here that you can see in the top left. So these most recent four videos have been like that. Uh, and I actually tried it the first time on this video, Make Money on YouTube Without Making Videos. And it really took off for me. This video has actually gone viral and done over 50,000 views in less than a month. Um, so I thought, why reinvent the wheel? I'm just going to reuse what's already working. You can see that I've actually tried a few different formats of thumbnails, right? I tried these um, kind of black background. They were okay. I tried this purple background. They were sort of okay as well. I tried the ones with no face as well. And I'm going to continue using, unless I find something even better, I'm going to continue these ones because I think the reason why they work so well is... Uh, because there is firstly my, my name on it. Secondly, there is that colored kind of background that really stands out when my video is placed next to other videos in suggested videos. Uh, that really, really stands out and I'm getting a very high click-through rate from suggested videos. So um, I think focusing on the thumbnails and finding thumbnail format that actually works really well for you is super, super important. So tip number three is to have face on thumbnails. I've compared the performance and click-through rate of thumbnails where I had no face versus the thumbnails where I did have a face on them. And I'm going to show you now. So I tried the ones that don't have me on there. And they actually, you can even see here that these videos haven't had that many views. 2000, 2000, 1.3, 2.7. Uh, they just, I mean, this one was okay, 4.3. But when you compare it to the videos where I actually do have my face on them, I get a ton more views and a ton more subscribers from them. So 
in my opinion, having my face on the thumbnails is actually quite important. It just makes your video more personable. So if you're not doing that yet, I actually highly recommend to put your uh, face onto the thumbnails. Tip number four is to care about a particular topic popularity, not necessarily about the competition. So what I did before was I used to pick out a really long tail keyword and made a video about that really long tail keyword. For example, how to start affiliate marketing without a website. And that actually works well. And I think it's got, um, you know, it, it was not a failed approach, but what I've now started doing, I've experimented with making videos on uh, keywords that are very, very popular. And in my mind, they're very competitive but I actually managed to get a lot of views from those videos, even though the competition, when you look in different tools, is actually really high. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. Let's use this video here, make ClickBank commissions as an example. When I typed that in, when I was researching that idea for that keyword and the title of my video, I looked at the videos that are ranking here on page one, and I actually found out that a lot of these channels have much more subscribers than me, many more subscribers than me, I should say. Uh, for example, this one is 122,000 subscribers, 40,000 subscribers, 85,000 subscribers, and so on. So normally, this would indicate to me that the competition for this particular keyword is actually quite high. And, you know, if I was me three or four months ago, I probably would not have made a video for this particular term because I would have thought, well, I'm a very small channel. There is no way that I'm going to be getting uh, any views if I make, uh, to, you know, if I make a video about this particular topic. It turns out that I would have been completely wrong because, as you can see, my video is ranking here as number four for ClickBank for beginners because I made sure that the video is high quality and it's also getting views not just from search but also from related videos, from suggested videos. So oftentimes what will happen is that someone who is watching one of these videos, they will see my video come up in the suggested videos and they will click on it. And that's how I might be getting a lot of the traffic. So I'm here inside the analytics area for this particular video. And you can see traffic sources over the last seven days from browse features, 35% and suggested videos, 33%. So this video is only getting 16.1% from search and 33% from suggested videos and from browse features. So you can get a lot of traffic, not just directly from search, but also from suggested videos and browse features if you meet two things. One, your video is high quality, and two, you go for a topic that is a popular topic. Because YouTube will actually promote your video as long as it's high quality, and there is so, um, so much opportunity to get views, not just from search, but from other related videos. So I found for me that's very important to actually focus on the popular topics and on the popularity of the topics, rather than on the, you know, just be black and white of this is the keyword and this is the keyword difficulty for that keyword and therefore I should never go for that keyword. Tip number five is to focus on growing subscribers. I believe that is helping me as well. I don't have concrete proof but everything seems to point in that direction as well. So the logic there is that YouTube will reward channels that are getting a lot of subscribers as a percentage of views. So for example, uh, for me right now, for every 100 views, I get four or five subscribers, okay? If someone else's channel or video is for every 100 views is getting only one subscriber, to YouTube that might be an indication that uh, viewers really like my channel versus someone else's channel because I've got more people subscribing. So I've actually been very focused on promoting uh, subscription in my videos. I put a subscribe link in the description, I'm going to show you in a second how it is. And I believe that this is giving a really good signal to YouTube. I've only started doing that recently. I wasn't doing that before. And now I can see that my channel has really taken off. Check this out. Since I have started implementing this strategy that I'm going to show you in just a second, you can see that my subscriber volume has skyrocketed. And my recent videos haven't really been that much different, uh, except for the things that I'm talking about in this video. I've kind of changed a few things and that this has had a combined effect. So I've actually seen a massive increase in subscribers because I'm promoting the subscription link a lot more in my video. I'm actually encouraging people to subscribe to my channel everywhere I can. So here is exactly what I'm talking about. In all of my descriptions, I just put the main few keywords and then I actually put a subscribe link right there in the description. 
so that it's very easy for people as they scroll below this video that gives them one more option of clicking the subscribe button. The way this link works, I've actually made it so that once they click it, I've added this question mark sub underscore confirmation equals one so that they don't even have to then click on the subscribe button. It already pops up the subscribe dialog and all they need to do is just confirm that they want to subscribe. This link is actually getting a ton of clicks. It's crazy how many clicks it's getting. And this has really helped me boost my subscriber numbers. And I believe this is helping me get more views on YouTube as well. Tip number six is to use five cards per video. If you're not using cards yet, then I really highly recommend that you do. I believe that this is a great feature and it can help you get more views on YouTube. So first of all, cards actually give you extra views. And secondly, I think that it increases viewer retention on YouTube, therefore resulting in a higher stay percentage of people who watch your video. High percentage of those people actually end up staying on your video and staying on your channel. And this is definitely sending a positive message to YouTube that your channel has higher retention than other channels that are not using cards. So in my video manager for that video, I actually use up all of the cards and I link throughout my video, I link to my other videos. Here are the stats from the last 28 days for my cards. Now I've had 260 card clicks. This might not sound like a lot, but the thing is that this is giving you that extra edge. You know, these extra 260 people did not click off and go and watch someone else's videos. They've actually stayed on my channel. And even though it just giving me a tiny bit of an edge, I might be in the end, I might be getting thousands more views because of the signals that I'm sending to YouTube that my subscribers are actually staying on my channel. YouTube say time and time again that viewer retention is extremely important. So you should really do everything that you can. And if you're not using cards yet, then I believe that you definitely should start using them. Tip number seven is to add your video to at least three to five playlists. That's actually resulting in a lot of views for me personally. And once again, when viewer retention is higher, it's a really good signal to YouTube. So I have had 687 views from playlists and 1,174 views from playlist page. That's a lot of extra views and not just the views, but also it has given me higher retention than possibly some other channels uh, just because I add my videos to a lot of playlists and I'm getting all of these views. So that's resulting in that extra retention, which is super important for YouTube. So in the edit video dialog, I go to playlists and I add them to all the relevant playlists. You can see this particular video is for example, added to six playlists. Tip number nine is I stopped overcomplicating. I've gone through this journey where about nine months ago, I went and I bought a DSLR camera, spent a lot of time on it, used it in several of my videos, but I found that I stopped using it, right? Because uh, it was just complicated. I had to record myself just as in me with no screen on the DSLR camera. I could not use it as a webcam. Then I had to edit that footage in one program, import it, then, you know, put it, put the screen capture on top of it. It was just very, very complicated. So I said, all right, you know what? I'm going to stop it. I'm just going to try to stick to webcam. Uh, the, I have a very simple web, Logitech webcam 1080p and I've learned how to set it up so that the image is decent quality. I now just record straight in Camtasia, which is the software that I use. I capture the screen and myself. I have this PowerPoint sitting in the background and that's basically all that I do. I use PowerPoint as the, uh, you know, what you can see here, right here on the screen. This is actually done in PowerPoint. That's literally all I do. I don't use any complicated video editing software that's allowed me to really free up my time. And from start to finish, I can get a video done in about two to three hours, which is really, really good. That leads me on to the next tip, which is tip number 10 to produce more videos. So um, this kind of, you know, simplification of the process that I've gone through uh, means that I can produce more videos and more videos equals more views. Now, this is very important for me because YouTube, like I said, is probably only about 20 to 30% of my business. I've got other things, software and blogging, etc., that I do. So the simpler YouTube is, the better for me, the more videos I can make. And more videos actually means more views. Here is what I'm talking about. Take a look at the views in the last 48 hours. Some of my videos have not exactly been very successful. Some of them are only getting 30 to 45 views in the 48 hour period. You know, some are very, very successful, of course, but none of the videos are really going to waste, to waste. Even if the 
videos are kind of a moderate failure like this one here is only getting 98 views per 48 hours so 50 views a day you know 50 views a day is actually quite a lot of videos it's 15,000 views per year if you wait over a 12 month period so it might not sound like a lot but it is actually a lot and the more videos you can produce and even if it's each video is just collecting a small amount of views it's actually all going to add up in the long run it's going to give you more subscribers going to give you more views and you're going to make more money tip number 11 is longer videos so i have been producing a lot of 20 30 and 40 minute videos i know that um, a lot of videos that you see on youtube are kind of in the 10 12 minute mark because i think people just try to get over the 10 minute uh, mark so that they can put a couple more ads on the videos nothing wrong with that but i've actually found that these 20 30 and 40 minute videos work exceptionally well people enjoy them i get a lot more subscribers from those videos as well and it gives me an average longer watch time uh, of course the video has to be good you can't just be sitting there for 20 or 30 minutes talking about something that's not interesting for the viewers but if the video is on point and you're keeping your viewers engaged, then longer videos are definitely a really good idea. Tip number 12 is to template everything. I try to cut down my production time as much as possible. I try to be effective and efficient with the way that I do things. So I've templated this background, for example, that you can see, I've just, I've got this file, I reopened the file. Uh, all I need to do is just type in some text. I don't, you know, go crazy with kind of editing and things flying in and out, etc. I've got a template for the thumbnail saved and I just reuse the same template. So um, I know that at the start of my YouTube days, I kind of didn't really focus too much on templating, but the earlier you can start doing this, the better it's going to be for you long term because it's going to save you a lot more time and uh, eliminate any confusion. Last tip is probably a little bit obvious, so I apologize if it comes across as a bit of an obvious tip, but it's try to make the best video that you can. So. I really put effort into my videos. Um, I, I'm sure that you guys do as well, but uh, you know, there is some kind of mentality or school of thinking that, look, this is just YouTube, these are free videos and people should be happy to watch whatever you put out. But it's not really like that because I really appreciate you guys, for example, watching this video. You've taken the time out to watch my video and you could be watching someone else's videos or you could be doing something completely different. So I actually try very, very hard to make each video the best video that it can possibly be. I try to really deliver some useful information and, um, you know, I don't really subscribe to that school of thought that this is YouTube, the videos are free, so you can just put out anything out there and people will watch it because it's free. I don't really think that it works like that because for you, the cost, uh, you know, is that you are giving up your time to watch my video. So I really want to make sure that I deliver that you have a good experience and uh, that when you subscribe to my channel, you're actually going to want to watch my next video. So I think it is actually quite important, uh, quite an important tip, maybe even the most important out of all these tips that we've talked about to make sure that each video is as great as you can make it. The other thing is that it actually translates to longer view time and higher engagement on YouTube, which can overall help your channel grow much, much faster. So these are the methods that I recommend you start using to get more views on YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel just below this video. Click that bell notification icon to make sure that you get notified about my next tutorial as soon as it's uploaded. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.